So welcome everyone to the anime news for the week ending December 22nd, 2017, almost the end of the year. A few little news stories to make note of. Uh, Funimation has announced that they have made available all four of Mamoru Hosoda's original films available for streaming on their site. They are all dub only, which is not too bad, you know, um, uh, depending on how you, how you look at all that stuff. I happen to really like the dubs of these. So, Wolf Children, The Girl Who Leapt Through Time, Summer Wars, and Boy and the Beast are all available now on Funimation for subscribers to Funimation's streaming service. So you can head over to Funimation.com and if you're interested in those, this would be a good chance to check those out. Mamoru Hosoda, definitely a rising star in anime, particularly the anime you know, movie uh, biz. More news from uh, folks about the new live-action One Piece TV series being produced in Hollywood. Um, let's see here, I would jump Festa. There was a video message from producer, producer Marty Adelstein, who's working on a live-action Hollywood TV adaptation of One Piece. Uh, they, he's already said that they plan to make this a big budget thing and that he's actually been a fan of One Piece for many years and he really wants to do it right. We now know that the new TV series will start with the East Blue arc and then, quote, broaden from there, end quote. Uh, so definitely moving forward with it. They have some, some definite plans for the One Piece TV series. We'll see how that goes. I don't know that they have a broadcast yet or where it's going to end up. I'm going to assume something like Netflix, but we'll see. So, more information, and it does seem solid so far. Who knows? The surprising announcement this week of a new, whoops, sorry, uh, of a new Cutie Honey anime coming in 2018. Cutie Honey, a um, sort of genre-busting, almost medium-busting uh, anime and manga from the 70s. There will be a new Cutie Honey series this 2018 called... Cutie Honey Universe, and it is in celebration of Go Nagai, the creator, uh, and a, a celebration of the 50th anniversary of his works, and so that's going to be interesting. The uh, director worked on Fotokano, the series composition by the writer of Urahara and Yu Shiki, with uh, Suichi Iseki designing the characters and serving as chief animation director. Uh, this artwork you see here is of Cutie Honey herself in various outfits. Uh, the thing about Cutie Honey is that she's kind of a quasi-magical girl and that she's a teenage girl who's an android and can transform into various different versions of herself with different outfits for different occasions. And when she does so, her current uh, outfit shreds to nothingness. So she's you know, naked briefly uh, in, uh, uh, in the anime series. So it's one of those things. And uh, definitely a more etchy series and concept. So we'll see where that goes and what we get from that uh, here in 2018. Speaking of genre-busting stuff, The Rose of Versailles is getting a, two new chapters of its manga. Ryoko Ikeda will be premiering two new chapters in, uh, let me see here, in Margaret magazine. She's been releasing a few new chapters here and there over the past few years. So we're getting more Rose of Versailles. This is a classic uh, shoujo story, one of the stories that arguably kind of created a lot of shoujo archetypes and stereotypes. So more Rose of Versailles, which is kind of surprising and certainly very cool to see a classic getting more material. Finally, some sad news this week. Uh, a voice actor on the Japanese side, Tamiyo Oki, passed away this week. He's probably best known as the voice of Aramaki in Ghost in the Shell. Uh, also known as Old Ape Face in the anime series. Um, he started working with Star of the Giants back in 1968. So he's been working in anime for a very long time. Also worked on A Dog of Flanders, Eureka 7, Heroic Legend of Arslan, the new Kenshin TV ser uh, or OVA series, Wolf Children, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, uh, all the way up to 2016. He was working in the voice acting industry. So a legend is gone and uh, he will certainly be missed. So those are the major news stories of the week. Thank you all for joining me, and I will hope to see you next week and next year.